Hi, I'm Danielle from djcoolbeer.co.uk and today I'm going to show you how to make felt food. To make felt food you will need some cardboard, some fabric scissors, the felt and the colours of your choice, some thread, some stuffing, sharpie or other coloured pen, pins and needle. Today I'm going to show you how to make a sandwich and strawberries. To make the bread you will need two colours of felt or three if you want to have one side looking like it's been buttered. To make this you need to draw a shape of the bread onto cardboard and cut that out. You also need two cardboard bread shapes for the piece, each piece of bread. So using the colour of felt that you want your bread to be, draw around the template twice. To make the crust of the bread, you'll need some strips that will go all the way around. Best is to cut several strips the same width as you may need to join and just measure manually as to whether it's long enough. Join the strips together. So if you've drawn around your template in the pen marks that will be the inside, so right sides with the join in the top of the bread. So this is what it looks like once the crust has been attached on one side. So you've got your cardboard, you need to check the shape so that will sit in. Fill the cavity with stuffing, making sure not to overfill it otherwise it will be a misshapen piece of bread. Pull the open end closed and whip stitch closed, being careful to catch in the edge or top stitching if, if it starts to pull away. For the fillings, the simple no-sew fillings, peanut butter, two kinds of jam or sauce, just cut the same shape as the bread. So when placed on the bread, being felt on felt, it sticks. Cheese in slices. If you want, you could leave a hole and cut holes out for Swiss cheese. Luncheon bologna, just cut a circular shape out of a sausagey, fleshy colour. The gherkins, I drew a gherkiny shape, cut out the shapes and drew the seeds on with the sharpie. The lettuce, lettuce shape, and then made the veins, stitched the veins on. You could also draw them on. It's double sided with the back stitch stitching. The cucumber, two round, smaller, light, lighter green pieces for the flesh, and a bigger circle for the skin. Stitch them together through both sides with a back stitch. And then the slices of tomato draw a tomato-ish shape, the seeds, you could draw, also draw the seeds on. So you can then build your sandwich. So we have peanut butter and jam and more jam and the luncheon and the cheese and a lot of gherkins, lettuce, cucumber and some tomato. Okay, I'm now going to show you how to make strawberries to accompany your sandwich. And these are the components that you will need. The felt for the actual strawberry, and then the felt for the leaves, the strawberries, 
I made the shape up for drawing just around the bottom of a jelly mould, a little jelly mould. So you just want a smallish circle. You can make whatever size you want. You then need to draw around on the back side of the felt. This is heavier weight felt. As you actually only need a half circle to make a strawberry. So cut the strawberry circle out, fold it in half, fold it right sides together and then you can cut it down the fold. Here's your two strawberry pieces. So folding in half, so starting at the bottom with your knot, whip stitch. You want to use your scissors to try and push the point out a bit more. And what you want to do is do a running stitch. around the top of the cone, a little bit of stuffing, not too much. So you want to pull the running stitch, being careful not to pull too hard. Stitch through the top several times. Next you want to have leaf shape, draw around onto your felt. Just catch each leaf with one stitch. Put your needle in. And pull the loop until it forms a knot and then make that stitch and make the needle come out further down the strawberry. Pull. If you want to see you can either draw them on or before you close the strawberry stitch them on. So that's how to make felt food. <laughs>